So Booker T, Booker T, he got he got some advice for Montez Ford and Dawkins down to the Street Profits, but really specifically Montez Ford. So Montez Ford is frustrated. I actually think it's a a work. I don't think it's like he may be frustrated, but I think they're working an angle. Um. The way they talk about triple thumbs and how easy going and fun and loving and happy they are working for him. I don't see why he can't just go to him and be like, yo, Paul, what's up? Like, you gonna get me how you had me in NXT or we gonna fuck around and shoot the fair one? Like, I don't see why that can't happen. So, I think he's actually working an angle or whatever the case may be. Get us talking like we're doing. So, of course, Booker T, you know, he in the pocket. So, he gonna play along. Kind of like over there where the dude... Uh, Greco, LaGreco was going nuts when the Cody Rhodes, Cody Crybaby shit was, um, kicking off. And come to find out, that was a whole fucking work. And he over there in the pink robe going ham over Cody Rhodes and shit. So, Booker T, you know, he gonna join in if it's gonna promote or whatever. So, I'm, I'm gonna come at this angle. But either way, let's go ahead and play along. Now, if it's true, you know... We already been saying Montez needs to get a rocket strapped to his back. And technically, Vince McMahon was easing to do that. He was doing that. That's why he had him in that um, chamber match or whatever and let him show that he could do what he needed to do. But now that Triple Thumbs is here and he wanted to look real vanilla, this is where we at. So Booker T said, I'm going to do my Booker T impression. <clears throat> well, get rid of the damn cup. That might help, you know. And Taz is one of my guys, man. I like him. He's an extraordinary talent. But you got to know how to break out. Pause. How you break out? He already broke out of NXT with Angelo Dawkins. Then they came to the main roster. And he, during the pandemic, when they had paired him with his wife, Bianca, and they was a little threesome. And, you know, they was having fun. And they had that cool-ass fucking, um... Remember they had that storyline where Zelina Vega had poisoned Montez and we was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on? They actually need to run that shit back. We needed some type, some type of closure on that. But whatever. Um, break out of what? What does he need to do? He broke out in the Elimination Chamber. When they put on a match, they put on bangers after bangers after bangers. So what the fuck? Break out How? What does the fuck he need else to do? The man went and got muscles. He greased up. He healthy. He good looking. He got style. Them when they want motherfuckers down to the New York Stop Exchange or some type of representation for the company, they got them at the Kentucky Derby, at the SB Awards, at the Kids Choice Awards. These motherfuckers is everywhere. Because they're a beautiful couple. They're beautiful people. They're healthy. They're beautiful to look at. So break out how? What is Booker T? This is why this is why I be beefing with Booker T. And he goes on to say, you got to know how to make your own breaks. I was with my brother in the tag team for nine years. Was I thinking about making a break and doing things on my own? Was I capable of doing that? Yeah, 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 I could do that. But I was happy where I was. And I wanted to make the best until it was nothing left to do there. But I think Tez is in a great spot to where he finally goes to singles. He going to have a lot of bumps left in him. Remember I was talking about that bump card? And I said when you got that bump card, it's going to be a lot of bumps left in you. That's what he said. Montez made some very valid points. He's 34. He's in the prime and best shape of his life. He wants to do it now. Now, my thing is, do they have to break up all fucked up a la Janetti and Michaels? No. I would, if it was me booking, I'd be like, look, I gotta talk to you. You could do this two week storyline. Yo, have they lost matches? They just watched the Motor City Machine Guns, DYI 2.0, win them title belts in three, three fucking matches. Yo, let me, I gotta talk to you, Dawkins, for real. Take them to the back. First scene. Man, we, we ain't hitting. We stagnant. You know you my brother, and I love you and all that, but, like, something got to give, bro. And Dawkins can be like, you know what? Fam, I agree. I've been wanting to break out for a minute. Know what I mean? And Dawkins, and, and, and um, sorry, a four could be like, are you for real? I didn't know. I, I was trying to keep us together because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. And Dawkins might like, hurt my feelings. Come on, bro. 
You already know how we get down. They do their little handshake. Boom, 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 boom. Do, check this out, bro. Dawkins, fam, this is what you're going to do. You go ahead and you go ahead and shoot the shoot your shot. Go ahead and go for your destiny. I'm going to go ahead for my destiny, too. And I'll meet you at the top. How about that? And Montez be like, you know what? I like the sound of that, fam. And they hug and be like, I'm going to see you on the other side. Boom. Singles. Run it. Why is that difficult? Why does it have to be, why you got to do me like that? You did me like this. I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to whoop your ass. It don't have to be like that. It don't have to be like that all the time. Why can't two brothers just be like, you know what? I'm going to support you. Go up there. I'm going to see what you do. If I don't make it to the top, I want to make sure you make it to the top. And hey, while you up there, don't forget about me. Pull me up, bro. And if we both ain't panning it out, then I'm going to meet you. We're going to tag right back up and go after these little weak-ass belts that don't nobody really want. Why can't that happen? Booker T... Don't nobody want to be in a tag team for a decade. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? I think these guys have been tag teaming for, like, what, five years? Yo, they debuted March 16, 2016. They, been, they don't want to be in a tag team for 15 years. Like, let's be for real. They see the New Day. They The New Day got their individual records. Fucking the Usos got their individual records. Then you got the fucking Rockers had their individual records. Let these guys get a little taste. And whatever happens, happens. They can go back and be tag teams and still bring up the caboose. I don't understand what the fuck Booker T... You know, I hate an old head that tell young cats that they need to wait. Like, wait for fucking what? The guy is ready to go. And I, I have to say, if Vince McMahon was already working towards getting them where they needed to get, he had them hosting, which I didn't really care for, but he had them hosting the show. He had them doing their thing. Everybody don't got to be fucking mean. Rah, why can't we have the cup and have the smoke? We, they're over. They come out with the cups. They had the little cups explode in. We was in there wanting the smoke. You know how long it took them? Remember when they first said we wanted the smoke and the audience didn't even know what the fuck they was talking about? That took a minute for these people to know that we want the smoke mean, that we want you, we want them to come in and fight and show us what they got, not weed. Because that's our thing. You know what I mean? So, I don't understand. I don't know what he got to do to break out. I don't know why he got to stay up in the fucking tag team. There's nothing else to do. But explore his individuality. What the fuck is the big deal? Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think if you made this far about Booker T and his Booker T 